my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Tia and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We're multicultural. We're inclusive. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you're one of my little doll babies. Hi, doll baby. How are you? So happy that you are here. Today is a wig show and tell. I do have some clips of this wig. I've worn it several times. So this would be a show and tell where I have a little more thoughts about the wig. And again, I will include the kit clip. I will include the kips. Really? I will include the clips of when I first took her out and put her on. And then also the clips of me putting her on today. Who are we even talking about? Who are we talking about? This is a wig from Noriko. This is Angelica. I have Angelica in the color Macadamia LR, which means it has a long rooting. Okay. And like I said, it is from Noriko. She comes in this box right here. And I scooped her up from wigs.com for $192.99 with 30% off. Let's talk about her. I love this wig. I want this wig. Mmm. I'd say four or five times now, which is a lot for me. And I really, really enjoy this wig. It is so giving me like, you know, like Lane and all of those other ones where it is sort of a Jennifer Aniston situation. But I love Jennifer Aniston, so I don't really care. The coloring is really stunning. It is an ashy brown color. It is sort of a light, silkier texture, but I put some dry shampoo in it and it definitely gripped it up a lot. Um, she wanted to tangle a little bit, but like I said, I've worn her like three days in a three days in a row, and then this is my fourth day. So she could probably stand to be washed because I was wearing her when we moved into our part-time apartment. So like I was moving in this girl and everything. She does have bendable ear tabs on the side, which is super super nice. I did use the steamer on her. Um, I have. I don't know if I have clips of that or not, but I do have clips using the steamer on other wigs, so you're going to want to check that out. Uh, most of them would be the name brand wigs that are not heat safe, so you want to look at my name brand wig playlist, which I will link down below. And also wig styling playlist, which will have those as well. But absolutely love this wig. This is all the hair to the front, so it's a really nice density. I would say she's about 20, 22 inches with a lot of different layers. Let's look at her from the back. Let's look at her from the back. Oh yeah, so cute. So that's her from the back. I wore her like in a ponytail a lot of the time, so definitely. I'm actually thinking about putting her up a little bit right now with some of the synthetic wig accessories that I have. So we can do that whilst we are talking. What I'm going to do use today is Hair You Wears, oh, I'm sorry, Hairdo Pop, and this is the wavy wrap, and it is in the color R1416T, which is called Buttered Toast, and I think it really matches, like, these lighter layers, so we're going to do that. I really love this wig. I think it is a very comfortable wig cap. This is an average size cap. I'm wearing a wig rip with it, and I tightened it a little bit, so I do think if you had... Uh, need for a larger cap it could work I am using a wig grip with it I do feel like that because it doesn't have any combs or anything that that's the best way to do it so I'm just going to actually pull just this part back and then you can see these bendable ear tabs here pull a little bit from the ear tab just because I feel like that makes it look more natural and cover, cover any sideburns that you might have from your natural hair if that's what you're working with and then I'm going to do something so simple I'm just gonna pull this top part back like this and then I'm going to and I like it to be messy because like if it's too coiffed it's definitely like just looks wiggy so this is just like a ponytail holder so I'm gonna shake it out a little bit and I'm gonna just and it does have the ponytail holder it has those like I can show you this it has the like ring like that plastic sort of ring thing that's like a I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a slinky sort of it's the hair ties that are like the plastic ring ones not um so and then I'm just going to pull it halfway through and tighten it like that and then we can look at it from we can look at it from the back oh yeah look how cute that is 
especially with these wigs that don't have a ton of density that way you're 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 adding a little something and you're not losing and that color match is not, is really great for that i'll probably just take a bobby pin just because you know how i feel about bangs take a bobby pin and just pin this I don't need that big one. I got like the biggest bobby pin I have. Just pin this back just so it'll swoop, but it won't be in my face. Because you know I don't deal well with that. I have used hairspray on this wig. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on this, and I guess I never really say. But the hairspray that I use normally is the Aussie Inst Instant Freeze hairspray. A, I love the smell. <laughs> And B, I feel like it gives it a strong hold without being too much. And I've used it in a lot of my wigs, so I haven't had an issue with it, like, damaging the wig or anything. So that is what I use for that. So that is what I have for you for Angelica. I am going to be doing a comparison with Renee Paris's Ashlyn, which they're very, very, very similar wigs. So you'll see that coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I am going to leave some cards in the end of the video for you to check out some other videos of mine and also my name brand wig playlist with all of the Noriko wigs that I've already reviewed is going to be down below in the description box. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>